What's up guys, it's me, Adrian G. Today we are here in Portugal asking people what their thoughts are about Russians. She got some warm colored hands in September Golden in her hair, throwing pretty like the river I don't want you lost to the dark So today we're actually asking what are your thoughts about Russians? What are your thoughts about Russia, Ukraine? and the war going on? What are your Whoa, thoughts? this took a turn that I didn't expect. Okay. <laughs> um, obviously, wait, I don't know if I want to answer that. Well, no, obviously Russia's doing a horrible thing. It's very sad. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, yeah. Do you think it's going to escalate? Probably, yeah. Into other countries? No. Well, I don't know. The US is getting more involved, I think. Yeah. So Putin's probably not going to back down. If there's anything you, you could say to Putin, what would you say? Um, you suck and you should, yeah, you should die. <laughs> so I personally, I also used to live with a Belarusian uh, uh, guy mm -hmm. and I have some Russian friends. Uh, I used to live in Prague, so I met a lot of Russians. And I mean, obviously I have nothing against like people in general. Yeah. I think they're very nice. Uh, but obviously when it comes to the war, it's completely different. And uh, I think like, you know, we're against it. Yeah. Um, and it's, it's very scary, obviously, also because uh, of the potential nuclear situation. Yeah. And I mean, it's awful situation anyway, even if you're not like that close uh, yeah. as geography wise. How does it make say. you feel? Are you afraid? Uh, I mean, yes, like uh, I think nowadays the weapons are so powerful and, yeah. you know, they're in control yeah. of this very few people which can decide one night one day to blow up a city yeah blow up a city blow yeah. up like a country if there's anything you could say to to putin what would it be i would say that you're a crazy man and there was literally no point to to do this oh okay i think it's like a mess that it shouldn't happen like mm -hmm. we're in 2022 yeah. so it's like insane to do something like that yeah for sure you know so it's just like that i think it's insane and that sh shouldn't happen nowadays it shouldn't happen like anytime but like nowadays especially yeah. we have like so much intelligence and technology and a lot of stuff we shouldn't like fight uh physical fights mm -hmm. you know they don't make sense anymore do you think we as citizens can do something to make an impact i mean i think we can help like the the refugees yeah. that come like here there's a lot of help to refugees and i think in a lot of other european and other countries as well yeah. uh, we have that but also like donating to to causes like and ongs that are helping them mm -hmm. and like just helping them to to have a better life because they're like they don't have a country anymore yeah. like it's being destroyed yeah. And so I think that's the thing we can do and also like protest against the war but honestly I don't think that this is going to make a difference on like Putin's head or yeah. something like that. If you could say anything to Putin what would you say to Putin right now? You're a son of a bitch and you're very very dumb like really. Well, I think the Russians are a little bit troubled against uh, the way NATO is expanding to through yeah. their borders. And so I, I think that Ukraine is suffering a bit of, of anger yeah. against NATO and of course I, I condemn them, yeah. mm -hmm. but I mean, it is what it is. I, I, I really hope that the war would, would be over sooner than, than this, but yeah. I mean, yeah. I think that Russia is wrong yeah. in what I did. they did. They didn't have the right to invade mm -hmm. uh, Ukraine. It wasn't their country. To any Ukrainians watching, what would you say to them? Uh, keep on going. Please have hope and strength. Well, I think that Putin is committing a whole lot of war crimes mm -hmm. right now. And I'm surprised that it's still going on. But I guess if you think about it, I'm also not surprised. Mm -hmm. um, it's disappointing, but I don't know. I hope that Americans get more involved in it. I hope that the UN gets more involved. I know someone actually who's doing an internship at NATO right now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, also hoping for them to get more involved. I don't know. It's really stressful and like my heart is broken for Ukraine and it's just awful. Is there anything you'd like to say to any Ukrainians watching? My heart goes out to you guys. I, I can't imagine the position that you're in. It seems so awful and I hope that you stay strong and that you're able to find refuge in anyone around you or 
find support and resources from really anyone everywhere and I'm praying for you guys, thank you guys. What do you think about Russians? If we're thinking about the war, mm -hmm. I think they are a little bit dangerous because they have some weapons. We are from NATO, so we are safe, but they have some weapons we don't recognize. Yeah. And I think we have to prepare for something else because uh, we, we can see they are strong, but uh, at this moment, compared like with the Ukraines, they are good yeah. in the fight. Yeah. Uh, but I think in Portugal, we are safe. Okay, do you think it's going to extend to other areas yeah. in Europe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. think if they, they conquer uh, some countries around Russia, they come to Europe and they... But we are from NATO, so we are safe. All right, all right. Is there anything you'd like to, to say to any Russian out there? Be careful. <laughs> Be careful. Uh, NATO is strong. I think it's unnecessary. Mm -hmm. I think it's causing a lot of like damage to people who are innocent and don't deserve it. Yeah. So yeah. Do you think it's going to escalate? I think at one point yes, because it's kind of neutral now, like it's what a normal war, war would be, but depending on how Ukraine takes the situation, Russia might act differently and more okay. probably more aggressively. Okay, interesting. How, so do you think there's something we as people, we as citizens can do to de-escalate the situation? As long, I don't think we should like intervene between the, the war. I think helping people that are living in Ukraine or like leaving Ukraine now, because there's a lot of people leaving Ukraine, we could okay. like donate and stuff. That's the most I think we could do. Yeah, yeah. Okay, if there's anything you'd want to say to Putin right now, what would it be? Just help Ukraine and people that are leaving and donate as much as you can. So today we are asking Europeans what their thoughts are about Russians, about the Russia-Ukraine war. So, what are your thoughts? Uh, well, I'm actually from uh, Moldova. My family mm -hmm. is from Moldova, so it's next to Ukraine. Yep. Um, yeah, uh, I don't know what I can tell you about that. Um, of course, it's a tragic situation for mm -hmm. uh, Ukraine and the countries around it. Yeah, it's, it's very sad that the uh, Russians uh, took that decision to invade Ukraine and maybe the, the countries next to it, Moldova included. Um, so yeah, it's a very sad uh, thing. Yeah, what do, you th what do you think uh, you know, people could do to de-escalate the situation? Uh, I'm not sure because I know there are protests uh, occurring in Russia and uh, the Russian authorities are, uh, you know, incarcerating the, the yeah. people that are protesting against it. So I you know it's a it's a very hard uh, situation to be in for the Russian people as well. What would you say to the Russian people? Uh, be strong. I know it's a, a hard uh, regime to be living in. So yeah. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, be sure to hit the thumbs up. Let me know what your thoughts are about the situation in the comments down below. And if you do want to know what kind of gear I'm using to shoot these videos, be sure to check out the links in the description below. And once again, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you all for another video next week.